Okay, um, going to uh, take some of these wires came in a package here and uh, going to hook up the uh, the power input, the AC input uh, to the circuit board. Now we I can take this jumper wired in and connect it to the uh, front panel. Of course, I'll have to do some front panel work. I'm missing uh, uh, a nut here, but uh, I'm going to get this all tinned, tinned up and soldered. Uh, get the um, this jack here soldered to the the board here. Uh, that's where the uh, soldering iron connects to the uh, to the unit. So. Uh, and then we'll be able to do a test. Of course, uh, also there's an LED in here somewhere that's got to be put in place. And uh, once that's done and I put a plug in the back and switch it on, we should then know uh, if the digits lights up 500, we have it. And uh, we know that the disencoder section of the uh, power supply is working. Okay, I've soldered a jack in place here, making sure the spacings are good. For your LED, of course, the LED goes in place and has to be adjusted uh, for the depth of the, the board here, so it's not protruding too far. Uh, you got to be careful not to have any solder bridges here, so it takes very little solder. Because, uh, as you may see, it's pretty pretty small soldering. You know, not not terribly small, but uh, got to be careful. So too much solder would probably cause a bridge and uh, give you some troubles. So now we're ready to put this in in place of the soldering. Uh, the LED and the jack in place. So, ready to put this in place and uh, use this connector and power it up and see if we have power. Of course, we have the uh, the back part here wired up. We have the uh, neutral and live and the ground wire tapped into the to the wire, into the circuit board, I should say. So let's give it a go. Okay, uh, we have the. Uh, Cord plugged into the back here and uh, ready to power on and when we power on we should see um, 500, a digit 500 and that will tell us that the uh, the power supply and the encoder unit is working. So here we go, I'll try to get in the shot here. And we have it upside down. Or no, I'm seeing it upside down in the camera. Yeah, no, it's great. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm looking into the camera. So we have the 500, so it's great. Uh, so we power this down now. So the next thing to do is to uh, kind of lock this up. Uh, secure the, uh, the power supply in place. is a little bit, little bit loose here. So uh, we'll uh, put some um, hot glue down in there just a little bit just to hold it in place. We'll put the lid on it. And we'll put our feet down in here. So I put our screws in first, lock it in place, and uh, put the feet in, and then we can move on to the actual uh, soldering iron uh, part. I tell you, a, a vise is very indispensable. Uh, this was very handy. Uh, it's a bit bulky for this kind of work, but uh, once you got it in place, it's great. We have the uh, the switch soldered in place, as you can see here. The gold is the gold side is on the side, and the silver is on the side. The motion switch. Uh, we've got the wires soldered in, just in case anybody's wondering. Um, these uh, five pins are labeled one to five, of course. And uh, pin one is green, pin two is red, pin three is white, pin four is blue, and pin five is black. We've uh, tinned the ends and uh, got the wires on. Now we'll get the sleeve put in place and uh, get this screwed in, and then we'll work on the other side. And for those of you who are wondering, <clears throat> um, the um, the board for the most part is labeled. The center pin here in the front is uh, ground. That's the green. And uh, red would be positive. And the black would be uh, negative. And oddly, uh, the white wire goes on the front here, uh, the B side. The white wire goes there, and the blue one goes on the A side in the front here. So everything was all tinned and measured out, and now I just uh, have to fold this down and lock it in with the zip lock. Okay, um, you know, every project is, uh, has its challenges, and uh, sometimes we make mistakes, and uh, indeed I did make a, uh, a bit of a mistake in uh, the setup, but if you can detect what it was, let me know. If not, I'm not going to tell you. 
but uh, certainly uh, I had to do some desoldering, put it that way. Okay, we got the uh, K tip here, a, a T12 K tip, it's the chisel tip, which I don't want, but I gotta wait for the uh, the gentleman on eBay now to send me the, the appropriate one. So we're going to insert the tip. It seems to be locked in place pretty good. And then we put the retaining nut here, the shaft. And uh, yeah, that feels good. Okay. Got a little bit of solder left over from the project. Uh, a little bit of rosin. Uh, hopefully you can see this. I'm going to try. Uh, the button is not sitting on this properly. Uh, I put it on and it doesn't allow this clicking. So I'm going to have to replace this button. I have to let the uh, eBay uh, gentleman know that there's an issue with the button. But anyway, as it stands now, we have it plugged in and we're ready to power it on. I'm hoping I got this right. And so here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, temperature's climbing. Jeez, it's starting to smoke already. I'll try to keep it in shot. It's uh, 283, 293. Man, this really gets hot quick. Okay, it's stabilizing now, I think. It's pretty well at 301. Let's see if the uh, encoder works. I'll try to turn this down. Okay, it's down to 200. 200 is the uh, default setting when uh, this switch doesn't move. It's supposed to switch back to that, so we'll check that momentarily. Okay, let's see at 200 if we have enough. Uh, put some rosin on first I guess. I'm not exactly sure how you tin these new tips, but uh, let's give it a go. Let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah, it certainly is uh, melting the solder at 200. Wow, that's incredible. I am thoroughly impressed. At 200 degrees, wow. So I, 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 I'm thinking there is a break-in period on these, so I'm going to uh, turn it up to 250, we'll say. And uh, looks like it's already there. This LED is supposed to tell me that it's working, I think. It's at the proper temperature. It's at 248. Let's take it up to 275. 270. Really, really climbs pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to take it up to 300. I think it goes up as far as 450. 300. And it's there. You can see the, uh, the tip is uh, still smoking. And yeah, plenty hot. Let's see. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, you can actually touch the metal there and it's not, not hot there. But, uh, yeah. That's it. We're going to let this sit for a while and uh, do a just a casual burn. Uh, there was no instructions with this. I, I messaged the uh, eBay seller. Uh, no instructions. Uh, missing a couple of parts. Uh, the, the proper tip and the, uh, the nut that retains this. I found one for it, though, thankfully. And this button, I'm going to have to measure them and say it doesn't work, but I'm going to try it and they can get another button. I have several of these like these. I have several, uh, so maybe I can jimmy jury rig it somehow, but if I put it on, you see it doesn't, it's not clicking. Let me put this uh, over here for a second. I want to, uh... Okay, here we go. It doesn't it'll click, but as you see, if I pull it off, it'll click. Anyway, I'm going to power this down because I don't want to reprogram it. Power it back up. Awesome. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. It's the uh, Heiko and clone, I guess. Uh, T12 uh, variable power soldering station. Thanks for hanging around and watching the video, and I hope it was helpful to you. I certainly learned a few things myself, especially how to make a mistake and correct it. Have a great day.